Hello and a warm welcome. Uh, this will be a very short video. Uh, one or two people have mentioned in the comment section of some of my recent videos uh, that I only uh, show observations from high elevations or around 200 to 300 meters um, recently. And that's not really true. I've published plenty of observations from lower elevations, um, but there is a very good reason for looking at higher elevations. And that is that um, the optical effects and mirage effects and refraction effects that you get, uh, particularly over water, uh, can make life very difficult, uh, especially if uh, you have a limited time to uh, wait or get exactly the right conditions for an observation where there is minimal uh, refraction or minimal uh, miraging kind of effects. However, I wanted to pop this very quick little observation out there just to show that uh, you can still demonstrate that the Earth is not flat um, by looking at things from sea level or near to sea level. So <clears throat> these islands are viewed from um, the cliff top at Kinghorn in Fife. Uh, the camera is around about 27 metres above sea level for this particular picture. And you can see the Bass Rock, the island of Fidra with a lighthouse on it here. And also behind it, several kilometres further away, is uh, the island of Craig Leith. Castle Tarbert is sort of part of the same uh, rock formation as Fidra, uh, only separated from Fidra at high tide. And on the right hand side here, we have an island called Lamb. If we adjust the levels, you can see uh, the island of Fidra a little bit more clearly and see that uh, there is another island behind it uh, called Craigleith. Now, a little later on in the day, I came back to much the same spot and took another little video and some still shots from it. Now, it had got a little bit more hazy and the sun was coming from a different direction and much lower in the sky at this point. Once again, if you enhance the levels, you can see this is essentially the same shot as the one we've just seen. The Bass Rock, Fidra, Craigleith behind, Castle Tarbot and Lamb. And you can see pretty much all of these islands. I think, according to curvature calculators, there's about 10 metres of the Bass Rock that's obscured from view. And much less of these islands, because they're closer to the camera. I then went to the bottom of the cliff, so the camera height is now around five metres. And from lower down, uh, the haze was a little bit more um, difficult to see through. But again, if we enhance the uh, picture by adjusting the levels, uh, you can see that a large portion of the Bass Rock is now obscured from our view. Most of Fidra, only the uh, lighthouse is still visible and Craigleith behind is much, much lower to the waterline. Very top of uh, Castle Tarbot is visible and none of Lamb. Uh, popping these side by side, you can see uh, the clear um, difference between the images, particularly the last one. This is clear evidence that the Earth is not flat, that there is curvature, and that you can observe that curvature um, looking over water. Yes, flat earthers will argue that there is some kind of magic uh, refraction effect going on, which um, occurs on a flat Earth and has precisely this effect. Uh, but they can't explain it uh, in proper um, terms of, of physics and optics. They can't even draw diagrams to represent it. They can't measure it and they can't tell you how or why it should occur. They simply say that things get compressed and then start to disappear from the bottom up without any uh, reasonable explanation for why. 
I haven't uh, put a slide together using Walter Bislin's curvature calculator, but if you take the correct elevations for these islands and the correct distances from the camera for these islands and plug it into Walter Bislin's curvature calculator with the different uh, elevations for the camera, uh, the globe Earth predictions match exactly what we see here. And the flat Earth predictions look completely different. So once again, reality matches what the globe Earth predicts. And flat Earth needs to invoke magic to try to explain what we see here.